Hello, YouTube. Yo, 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 yo. EMS yo, yo, Journey yo, 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 sucks. Yo, 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 yo. yo, yo. What it do? Get drunk Friday. Yeah. <laughs> How y'all doing? Friday. Today is Friday. August 17th. August 17th. 2018. Yeah. And we are back. Sorry we haven't been uploading. To my lovely right, I have my husband. And my lovely left, I have my lovely wife. <laughs> you know, we, you know, reason why we wasn't vlogging, you know, is we was dealing with something like, a, like a very tragedy. You know, some, somebody, somebody close to us who we lost. You know, everybody deals with it differently. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody cries. Some people might have their moments, but in a case like that, you have to have somebody who's going to be strong because you can't have two people crying at the same time or not crying but how can you put it down and depressed at the same time grieving period. one person has to be strong and the other person has to grieve you know as a man being in a, in a marriage if you see your wife grieving you can't grieve with her when you by yourself you grieve Take a walk, grieve, get it off your mind. But when you're at home, you can't grieve because you have to be strong for your significant other. And our case was she was grieving not just because of the tragedy, is because how close the bondship was between her and her cousin. You know, so I had to be like, Okay, listen, we're we going to get through this. You're going to get through this. Keep your head up. Mm -hmm. It's okay to cry. Everybody cries. Mm -hmm. If you don't cry, that means you don't have feelings. Yeah, true. You got to cry. You know, I cried. I, even when I was walking to work, I don't work when walk with no music. I was just, you know, just be in my own world, you know, because mm -hmm. by me coming back into the family, I got time to actually spend with our cousin mm -hmm. and to see what type of person she is. And she was like one of them people who was about family and she didn't care about nothing else her family was top yeah. dollar Very if important. something was wrong with her family whatever she doing it she stopped it to yeah. make sure her family was a one you know so my wife she took it very very sort of like badly to the heart where you know she she didn't want to eat she didn't want to drink you know i had to be like well you have to eat you have to yeah, drink I'm because really sick behind it you can end up in the hospital you don't want your cousin who you don't want a, a family member who you just lost wouldn't want to see you in the hospital because if they was alive they would be like listen you have to get it together because we don't want to constantly keep see you going back and forth to the er you know so mm -hmm. it was like more of a it's like kind of a give and take situation you know mm -hmm. you allow them to grieve you take the pain you cry when you have your time, but when you get back together, you have to eat that. If you can't get past that level to where you can be supportive and be able to grieve on your own time, mm -hmm. you have it's a lot more maturing, a lot more growing to do because losing a family member is not right. not easy. Right. Everybody loses somebody every day, but when you lose somebody who's very very close to you. Yeah. It's nothing you could do. It's nothing nobody can yeah. say, no do. And I suffered uh, a lot of passings, but um, it's been a while since I suffered something as deep as this. So, you know, I'm just still staying positive and keeping focus and, you know, thanking God for my husband and my son and my friends too, um, my sister. You know, they all came and, you know, sat with me and, you know, just been there abundantly and, um, you know, certain cousins and stuff. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Um, we're not going to continue that conversation because I don't want to get emotional behind it because I still have my moments. But uh, on a side note, we are happy to announce that <laughs> in the process back in April... We were seeing an IVF doctor because uh, we're going to uh, 
tried to have a baby as husband and wife. And um, going through IVF is really, really a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of, um, you know, timing. Reading. Reading. Uh, the stress. The anxiety. Uh the, tubes and tubes and tubes of blood yeah, and the depression, the depression. And, you know, seeing genetic doctors and the hormones and um, it really is a lot of work. Um, but thank God to our insurance is able to cover. A lot of people don't know that their insurance covers IVF. So for those that are looking into IVF, do your research read about it check your insurance or when you go to apply for your new insurance see which one covers um the full part where you only have minimum co-payments when mm -hmm. i say minimum like 50 to 60 dollars or you're not like coming when it, out the pocket right you're not spending medication wise two, four five hundred dollars to right. go for an appointment but right that medication it's a different story right. because you're dealing with not just medicine, you're dealing with another life. Right. Yeah. So, to anybody who's, even if you're not married, and you've been in an extensive, ex an extensive relationship for a long period of time, mm -hmm. and you're trying to have a child, make sure you do your research. Not just the woman, the man right. has to also read, see what's going on, see what's the side effects. Because mm -hmm. mentally and physically, it might not mess you up. But mentally and physically, it can mess your significant other up. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at the side effects. Yeah. What's the side effects? Okay, you know what? I read up on the side effects, so I know she might do this. She might be like this one day. Mm -hmm. She might not be like that tomorrow, but you know it's the medicine. Yeah. If you a woman and you don't have to go through this, go out there and inspire other women to keep their head up. Because... <laughs> It's not easy for a woman to get pregnant. If you can get pregnant the easy way, you're blessed. Some women are not grateful to get pregnant the easy way. So they have to go take the long, extensive route where you got to go through seeing a doctor, seeing another doctor. You got to eat right. You got to change your diets. You can't eat no beef, no pork, no soda. None of these things is because you, now you have to train your body mm -hmm. like a regular athlete do. Right. They train their body. In order for you to get that child, you have to train. You got to train your body because eventually your body's going to start to reject a lot of things. Mm -hmm. and when your body starts to reject things, you just don't lose weight. Your metabolism slows up and then you stop eating. You can't expect to have a healthy baby if you don't take care of your body. Yeah. You know, that beef and that pork is no good for you. Beef, pork, all that stuff is or no good. Or portion it because the protein I mean, yeah, is but good. It's, I mean, it's not good because of the salt and all of the other things that yeah. they have to do to make this meat from the animal. Mm -hmm. You know, so it comes with just having time mm -hmm. and dedication. You just got to have be patient. Like God said, if you be patient, he'll, he'll, he'll trust me, he'll make it work. But you got to be able to work with him. If you can't work with him on his time, he's not gonna make it work. Yeah. You know, but everything is about time, man. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. You know, we have our ups, we have our downs. She be ready to knock my head off some days. <laughs> some days I be ready to knock her head off like, yeah. like like Tommy Hearns, but we come together. You know, we love each other, we come together and we do what we have to do, not just for our family, but mm -hmm. for ourselves. You know, yeah. because God put us back into each other's lives to finish a chapter that we didn't get to finish when we were younger because we weren't not just immature, we weren't ready yeah. to be where we are today. Because when you're young, you're not worried about having a girlfriend. You're not worried about getting married. We weren't about ripping and running the streets, hanging with your friends. But as time get, time goes on, you get older, okay, now you be like, all right, whatever. Sometimes you don't want to do nothing. You just want to do something with your significant other. And that's the best way to do it. It's nothing wrong hanging out with your significant other. You can have your friends. You have this. But sometimes you got to learn how to separate yourself. Not in a bad way. You got to learn how to be like, okay, you know what? I gave my friends three days, a couple days. 
right, you know what? It's time for me and a significant other to go out and go through things. You know, but having a baby, not easy. It's not easy. And uh, following behind this video, we're actually uh, going to uh, do another video behind this to talk about this IVF journey and the steps and what we endured and how we led up to us um, doing IVF. So, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Put that bell on. Follow us. And follow back. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, thank you for again for taking the time out. Um, like I said, there is another video behind this video. So, make sure you tune in. And stay blessed. Thank you. Thank God. We're out. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend.